All right, thanks for tuning in to another physics lesson with Mr. M. Uh, in this video lesson, I'm going to teach you guys how to use the lens equation to calculate image distance. So if we take a look at our problem here, uh, we want to find the image distance for an object placed 10 centimeters in front of a convex lens with focal length 7 centimeters. So one of the first things that I always teach my students is to locate all of the known information from the problem. So one thing that we know is that our object is placed 10 centimeters in front of a convex lens and our focal length is 7 centimeters. What the question is asking is to find the image distance. So if we take a look at our <coughs> equation over here in green, 1 over p plus 1 over q equals 1 over f, we know that our lowercase p stands for our object distance, so in this case 10 centimeters. We also know our focal length, which is 7 centimeters, so that's our lowercase f. And we want to find our image distance, so what we don't know is lowercase q. We know that it's a convex lens, and we know that the focal point for a convex lens is always positive, so we can leave that 7 centimeters as being positive. Now that we have all of our information, we can just go ahead and plug it into our equation. So that's going to look like this. 1 over 10 plus 1 over q equals 1 over 7. So what we want to do is we want to be able to solve for q. So we got to get 1 over q all by itself. Uh, in order to do that, we're going to have to subtract this 1 tenth on both sides. So that's going to give us a, a value 1 over q equals, I'm just going to punch this in my calculator real quick, and we're going to get a decimal value of 0 0.042. Now, a lot of students get tripped up here because they think, all right, I've got 1 over q all by itself. I've got a number. I've solved it correctly. Well, we have to keep in mind, we don't want 1 over q. We want q. So <clears throat> the easiest way to get q all by itself in this case is to just reciprocate our fraction. So instead of it being 1 over q, we'll flip the fraction. Our math rules say that whatever you do to one side, we have to do to the other. So we will also flip this fraction. So our q ends up equaling 1 divided by 0 0.042. And it's not nice to leave that in the fraction, so we'll just go ahead and do that calculation in our calculator as well. And so we get an answer of 23.8 centimeters as our final answer. Okay, well I hope this video is helpful for you in solving your own lens equation problem. Thanks for tuning in.